everyone, and welcome to the Southwest Report, a monthly newscast highlighting happenings across the district. I'm Johnny Tejeda. As you can see, things look a little different this year for the report, so with this new look, let's start it off with a doozy. The annual Fire and Armor Bowl saw some new changes this year, adding some inaugural events. Trial of Champions took place at North Park Toyota and brought the two high schools together for some friendly relay races. FanFest took place before the big game with music, games, and food trucks to get everyone going before entering the stadium. With these events, we include our annual service project where we collected over 20,000 cans of food for Southwest ISD's own food pantry and awarding our service project trophy to Team Southwest High School. Here's an exciting highlight video of this very special event. Congratulations to Southwest Legacy High School for taking the victory in Fire and Armor Bowl 4. This year, four of our campuses have been given distinct awards with the National Blue Ribbon Program. The National Blue Ribbon Schools Program recognizes Texas schools based on their overall academic excellence or their progress in closing achievement gaps among student subgroups. McNair Middle School was awarded as a National Blue Ribbon Points of Light School, while Sky Harbor, Medio Creek, and Elm Creek Elementary were appointed as National Blue Ribbon Beacon Schools. Congratulations to all those campuses on these tremendous awards. A huge shout out to Mr. Ronald Carpenter of Crossroads Campus for winning the Kens 5 XL Award. Along with winning the Kens 5 Award, he is also our Southwest ISD Secondary Teacher of the Year. Mr. Carpenter has always gone the extra mile for his students and works to make sure they reach their full potential. Well deserved Mr. Carp, keep up the good work. Southwest High School Student Athletic Trainer Program has been named one of the top 10 athletic programs in the greater San Antonio area by University Health. With my girls, I let them know, look, every day we're going out there and we're going out there to help people. You know, and it's not about getting credit or anything like about that. It, it's about helping people, it's about helping others, it's about taking care of people. Um, and that's what we try to put our focus in every day. This process will include presenting head trainer Jacob Reyna and his student trainer team with a $500 donation, a commemorative plaque, and an opportunity to win Student Trainer Program of the Year with a grand prize of $2,500. Congrats, Trainer Reyna, and your amazing program for keeping our athletes safe out on the field. To round out the month of October, Southwest Relay for Life Trunk or Treat was a huge success. Hundreds of parents and students filled Southwest Elementary parking lot for a night of thrills and candy. Departments, organizations, and volunteers line the parking lot to give candy to our guests from all over the community. Trunk or Treat is always an amazing Relay for Life kickoff that brings our community in for a safe and fun Halloween event. Be on the lookout for more exciting fundraising events leading up to Relay for Life in the spring. I want to thank you all for watching the Southwest Report on SWISD TV. For more stories and videos, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. We are Southwest.